Hey guys, it's Brad and the Buff. I got my buff on my head and I'm ready to go. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a shoe upgrade that I've done for the upcoming hiking season. I have here a pair of the Lone Peak 8s and a pair of the Hoka Speed Goat 6s. I'm gonna talk about it in this video. So first of all, I want to start off with, I have had a previous pair of each of these. I have had the, I believe it was the Lone Peak 6s, so I skipped over. They come out with a new pair of shoes about every year. Um, and they don't typically make major upgrades to them. They're basically the same shoe, but it's a great shoe. I'm going to talk in detail about it. Speed Goats, the last set I had was four, and it's about every year and a half, it seems like, that they release one of these, maybe every two years. Um, and I had a Speed Goat 4, and I loved my Speed Goat 4s, and these just recently came out. So these haven't been out that long. So between these two, if I had to get just one pair of hiking shoe, it would actually be the Lone Peak 8s. These are very popular. They're probably the most popular uh, hiking shoe that you typically see. Like, you see them everywhere on the AT. And really, it's for one major reason. It is the toe box. Um, the toe box, and if you can see how these are shaped, and it's it's like the premier part of these lone uh, lone peaks, is that it has a very wide top uh, on the shoe. It gives your feet a lot of space to spread out, keeps them nice and comfortable, so they're not constantly rubbing up against the edges where you get um, like friction on the end of your toes, which is something I get a lot if I don't have a lot of shoe space. It's a lightweight shoe. It's a zero drop shoe. Uh, it's got good grip on the bottom. I would say there is really nothing other than the uh, the toe box that really stands out on these. They're not super durable. You're going to get about three to 500 miles on them. I have had these ha out on a couple hikes, and I like them just as much as I like the, re the, uh, the other um, Lone Peaks that I had. Um, this is by Ultra, and this is just a really simple design, easy to use shoes. They're not waterproof, but they do dry really quick. They, they will keep out some outside moisture. I like to pair these up with a pair of gaiters that I have just to keep some of that moisture off the top from like the morning dew. But this is the shoe that if I could only buy one, this would be the hiking shoe that I had. They're just very comfortable, very stable, and you don't have the, the toe box issues. I also really like the, the way that they look. I just do, I like the colors and the design. Um, and like I said, I'll expect to wear these for somewhere around six to 12 months. Um, now my Hoka's, I had to get these in a wide because the standard ones, they just were a no-go. So the first thing I had to do is I had to get these speed goats in a wide. Uh, these are very comfortable to wear. They really do a good job with cushioning and keeping your feet comfortable. They, they aren't zero drop and they've got this cool rocking build into them that like when you're walking uphill, it almost makes them a little more comfortable. It gets weird to get used to, uh, but once you do, but these are probably my most comfortable pair of hiking shoes. Now, one thing that I really do not like about them is just how loud they are. This is the only color I could get in the wides and I hate loud colors, but I, I'm function over design. The function is much more important to me. And the wide, these fit my feet just fine. I have not taken them out on a long hike, but I do love these as like day-to-day -day shoes. And I do like having two pair of hiking shoes because sometimes um, I do like to wear my hiking shoes as my day shoes. And um, it keeps them worn in, keeps them well used. And I don't like using one all the time because they are expensive. You can get cheaper like day-to-day -day shoes. Um, the main thing with these are just comfort. They are very comfortable. Um, they're about as durable, I'd say, as the Lone Peaks, maybe a little bit more durable. They cost almost exactly the same. Each of these shoes are going to be anywhere from like 140 to 160 is what you're going to be able to pick them up for. Um, but um, these, I, 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 they are a more comfortable shoe. Now, they don't have the big toe box, and you can just hold them up side by side and see how they look. This is one, it's just, it's boxier and wider. But with the wide in these, I can fit my feet inside them fine and they are comfortable. Um, so if I was aiming just for comfort with the wide and these speed goats, these would probably be the ones that I would go to. 
Um, there are a bunch of other shoes. I tried the, uh, the Anna Kappas and those are by Hoka, I believe. And I did not like them. Um, they really strangled my feet. I got those in a wide. I just did not like the fit of those. I didn't like the feel of them. The only other shoe that I've really liked before is the X ultras and they have not come out with their newest one. I believe it's on the five. Uh, those should be coming out sometime in the next six months. But I don't like the X Ultras as much as I like either of these. The one advantage that the X Ultras have, um, those are Solomons um, or Salomons, however you say that. The one advantage they have is they are they are a little bit they're well they're not a little bit they're a lot more durable and they're a bit heavier shoe, so it feels like you're kind of walking in tanks as opposed to these are much more lightweight shoes. They do dry quicker because of that, um, but these are the shoes I've kind of settled on. One is like to maximize comfort and one is to maximize toe box um, and to maximize my feet comfort that way. If I had to go on like a long-term hike, I'd probably take these, something that was a lot of miles over a lot of days just because I trust these shoes so much. If I had to do like a shorter, a few like 10 mile days back to back where I wasn't really worried about my feet getting busted up, I'd probably take these. And so that's kind of where I sit these are some new shoes. I've got a lot of new videos coming out. I've upgraded a lot of my gear. I'm really excited to show you, but I will see you guys next video. Hey guys, if you like the video you just saw, please subscribe, click the bell so you can get alerted for any new videos that I may do and check the links below for any information I described in the video. I'll try to put as much there as possible. Thanks for watching.